Hi, welcome to the channel. For those returning, welcome back. This is Will, the Arizona Outdoor Realtor. Today we're going to be discussing five reasons outdoorsy people are moving to Arizona. Number one, the climate. Everybody knows that wintertime, Arizona is the perfect place to visit. Summertime, they say it's too hot, but Arizona has a bunch of places where you can go and escape the heat during the summertime. Flagstaff, Prescott, Sedona, Payson, Young, Sholo, the White Mountains. There's always plenty of times to get outside any time of the year in Arizona. Number two, the mountains. Wherever you go in the state, you're guaranteed to see a mountain. Arizona's game of recognition, it finally deserves mountains such as Mount Humphrey, which is right outside of Flagstaff, standing tall at 12,637 feet. You got the Superstition Mountains, the big jagged cliffs right outside the East Valley and East Apache Junction. No matter where you go, you're going to see some of the coolest jagged rock formations, some of the most desolate looking mountains in some parts of the state. It's simply awe-inspiring. Number three, the unique biomes. Did you know Arizona has six biomes, deserts, grasslands, chaparral, woodlands, forests, tundra included in the forest category we also have the largest ponderosa forest in the whole world we also have coniferous and a mixture of deciduous forests throughout the whole state we also have two types of deserts sonoran and mojave desert both are drastic in their own ways and super cool to just drive through and check out number four the animals did you know arizona has 13 species of the 36 species of rattlesnakes in the whole country. We also have coral snakes. We also have two out of the five species of tortoises. We also have the only venomous lizard in the United States and one of two out of all of North America. Number five, outdoor activities. Did you know Arizona has over 600 trails? That's including the Arizona Trail, which spans a whopping 800 miles. We also have a Grand Canyon, which has rim to rim, what's close to 22 miles. We also have 41,000 acres of deserts, parks, and preserves in the Phoenix area alone. Snowball, one of our ski resorts located on the famous Mount Humphrey, right out of Flagstaff, has over 777 skiable acres with 55 trails and 2,800 vertical feet you can ski down. Arizona also boasts many, many miles of Jeep trails and hiking trails throughout the state. No matter what you're into in the outdoor community, there's something here for you. Don't forget summertime at the Salt River where many Arizona residents go spend a day on the river drinking and tubing, having the best time of their life. Also around the valley area, there's a couple major lakes for water time activities in the summer, such as Canyon Lake, Saguaro Lake, Roosevelt Lake, Lake Pleasant. All places people love to go in the summer, bring their boats, spend a day at the lake. There's even cliff jumping, trails around the lake. There's a ferry on Canyon Lake you can take out, old type of steam ferry, a couple nice sandy beaches. RV parking, campgrounds, there's even a restaurant at a couple of the lakes. So sit down, bring your family, spend a day up there, and you keep going past that Canyon Lake area, you reach Tortilla Flats, an old outpost where you can get lunch, go to the gift shop, and just enjoy the view of Canyon Lake and the superstition wilderness around you. You can go to Superior and Globe, explore the old mining town, see what it's like. Speaking of Superior, right outside Superior is the Boys Thompson Arboretum. Really great place if you're into bird watching or just casual hiking. You can see plant species and biomes from all around the world that they have set up in a perfect unique little canyon area. You can also see a house on a cliff and a lake there. And speaking of parks in the valley area, we have a couple cool regional parks such as Santan Regional Park, Usury Mountain Preserve and Park. We also got South Mountain Preserve. All these are cool little places to check out, hike, enjoy your day there. Even camping's allowed at some of them. Still, some people are like, why should I move to Arizona? I, I could go to California, Colorado, the rest of the Pacific Northwest, Montana. 
All I gotta say is, if you're on the fence about it, just visit Arizona once. Get out of the city, go rent a off-road vehicle, and check out some of the back desert and forest places. You don't ever know what you're going to find. Maybe a lost mine, maybe an old homestead, maybe a grave, maybe the coolest, most majestic scene you've ever seen. There's always something to find out there in Arizona. So, hey, give Arizona a chance. Come visit one of these times. That's all I have for you guys today. If you guys have any questions, all my information is down in the description below. Once again, thank you for watching my video, and if you guys want any other topics you want me to talk about, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're looking to buy or sell in Arizona, you know who to reach, William Benson Sorensen, the outdoor realtor. Once again, I hope you all have a great day. Bye now.